October 4, 1957. Americans looked up at the night sky and saw something that changed everything. A Soviet satellite called Sputnik was orbiting above them, beeping every 96 minutes like a ticking time bomb. This wasn't just about space. If the USSR could launch a satellite over American cities, they could launch a nuclear warhead. The panic was immediate. Newspapers called it a Pearl Harbor moment. Congress held emergency sessions. Parents feared Soviet missiles raining down on their children. America had fallen behind, and the world was watching. President Eisenhower's response was swift. Within months, he signed the National Defense Education Act, pumping over $1 billion into schools. Math and science became national priorities. Universities expanded engineering programs overnight. Then, on July 29, 1958, NASA was born. The space race had begun. But Sputnik didn't just launch rockets. It launched a generation. American classrooms transformed. STEM education exploded. The technological revolution that gave us satellites, GPS, and the internet. It started with one Soviet satellite that terrified a nation into greatness. October 4th, 1957 didn't just change America. It changed the world. But the satellite that terrified a nation? That was nothing compared to what came next. Part 3. Cuban Missile Crisis. Thursday, 6 p.m. The moment the world held its breath. 